Okay, sorry you guys. <sighs> I tell ya, I told ya stuff keep happening. So I had to clear some stuff off my camera real quick because it stopped recording. Um, but yeah, women that forces men to neglect their children. I mean I don't understand why people do stuff like that. It's just you mad your children's father or fathers abandon them. Why would you make go and get another man that has kids and make him do the same thing that somebody did to your kids? I don't understand that. I don't understand people that has that mindset men that didn't have fathers and would complain about how their fathers made them feel about making broken promises to them about them showing up and then they never do or making all these promises that they never have and then they grow up and have kids and do the same thing when when will the cycle end? Why wouldn't you want to be more for your kid, better for your kid? I don't know, maybe I'm the only person that think like that. I know I grew up without a father and I grew up super poor. Like Sometimes we ain't have electricity. Sometimes we ain't have hot water. Most of my clothes was hand-me-downs. You know, sometimes I went to bed hungry. <laughs> like, super poor. And that was the result of my parents' decision-making. My father decided not to want to have any responsibility. And my mom, I don't know, she had a degree in dentistry, but for some reason worked a whole bunch of odd jobs until it made her have a massive stroke and then she could never work again. So she ended up being sick and... It's just like, I don't know, life was hard growing up. Not to say my dad being around would have been better. Cause I really don't remember a day that my dad had a job. So, who knows, him being around probably would have been worse. But, at least... I would have saw some type of male figure and when I got old enough to want to date boys I can know in my head oh these is the qualities that my dad had and I didn't like them so let me choose a different dude that don't have these same type of qualities I don't know. Even if, you know, like in separate households. If my dad would have just been there to talk to me more. Let me know about life. It seemed like he didn't really try to try until after my mom died. And I don't know. I mean, he got three kids. Never did for any of them. But I don't know if it's like... He felt guilty. I'm sorry, you guys. I miss my mom so much. I don't know if he felt guilty and felt like he was obligated to try and try and 
do something then. But I was already grown. My mom died when... My mom died when I was 24. It was like then he tried a little bit, but it still wasn't enough. It was like he went from calling me every now and then, like once a year or something like that, to now he calling me on all the holidays. That was about it. And he always had excuses why he couldn't do for me. And it was always somebody else's fault. Maybe it was people hindering him, but a year before he died, we was... I gave him an opportunity to escape what he complained about all the time. That nobody was trying to help him. That it was always somebody else's fault. I knew somebody that was going to hook him up with a job. And I had my own place. Um, in Chicago, so if he didn't want to stay with his mom, like he said he did, he could have stayed with me. But he said no. He had something lined up in Georgia. And then, not even a week later, he calling me super drunk, talking about... It didn't line up like he thought it would. And all that other stuff. And I just... I didn't understand why he was calling me. Why he was telling me that. What was I supposed to do? Fly him back out there to Chicago? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know why everybody think... I'm so well off, because I'm not. I'm out here busting my, trying to take care of my child with no support, no help. But I wonder why my dad didn't worked that hard for any of his kids. Was we not special enough to him? I wonder why my child's father don't work that hard for her. Is it selfishness? Cause it just, it just, I look at her and I be like, how can you abandon your own child, like, and then try to pretend like you're doing something, and that is everybody's fault but yours. Nobody want to take responsibility for their own actions. They just want to blame everybody else. And folks, is getting hurt. Broken people breaking other people, making more broken people. It's sad. Our community is going downhill. We have so much potential, but we have no structure. We don't even support each other. We have no leaders. Well, we got some leaders, but 
you never know one minute it seemed like they're there for us and then the next minute it seemed like it's some hidden, hidden agenda to help the oppressor It could be hard trying to lead people that don't want to be led. Trying to help people that don't want to be helped. Don't really want help. Just want handouts. So how can you make change when nobody wants it? I used to do Uber in Chicago. And I would go into all the neighborhoods, like Hispanic neighborhoods, Chinatown, black neighborhoods, white neighborhoods. Everybody neighborhood looked like they cared. Except for ours. On my block. It used to look like they was having a block party on the block every night. Just trash everywhere. And I would go out there and clean it up. And before the day over with, it looked like somebody just took their trash and just went down the street dumping it on the ground again. Maybe it was somebody who saw me cleaning up and they felt like, oh, she thinks she better. She out here trying to keep the neighborhood clean, who she thinks she is. Maybe it's just people that don't care. But it's like, if you don't care about yourself, how's anybody else going to care about you? If you don't respect yourself, who else going to respect you? I had to learn that for myself. Because for a long time, I didn't care about myself. I didn't respect myself. If I did, I would have made better choices. But I'm learning. I'm growing. And... Um... God has wiped my slate clean and gave me another chance. So, I'm doing my best to... Um... Take advantage of this second chance. Because it's not too often people get second chances. Not at all. It's crazy how some people can get shot and die instantly. Instantly. And some people can get shot in like the head, eyeball, <laughs> and live. Wasn't your time. All these people out here with time. And nobody's taking advantage of it. And then there's people. Who got a clock. Or when their time is going to end. And just want more time. So what are we going to do? How are we going to fix our community? Because we're never going to get anywhere until we fix something. And we got to start, at least start with loving ourselves, respecting ourselves. Stop killing our own. You shouldn't kill nobody. But your brothers and sisters, you got to stop that. We need more fathers who really want to be fathers. And stop taking your personal life out on these kids. They didn't do nothing to you. They didn't ask to be here. You chose to lay down and make them. Could have wrapped it up. Could have did whatever not to have 
those kids, but you chose to bring them here. Well, that's my time, you guys. I enjoy talking with y'all. Malia keep hugging me because I'm over here crying. <laughs> I told y'all I'm a big crybaby. Y'all might see me cry again. I really hate crying. But I try to be holding it in. But oh, I've held so much in all my life. It's just I need a release. But I'll see y'all tomorrow. For actually later on today. <laughs> Because I had to re um, have to record twice today because of the record, the camera issue. But I'll see y'all later on today. I try to um, put on some makeup for the next video. I don't know. I just really hate wearing makeup. I've never liked wearing it. But I know in the industry that... Well, actually, that's not true because all the designers I see, they all never have on no makeup. All you got to do is wear nice clothes. <laughs> I just really hate wearing makeup, you guys. But, you know, men be like, ooh, I want me a natural girl. Then they get them one and then they be like, they ready to switch up when they see a girl that's only bad when she got on makeup. Tell her to wipe that off. But, you know, men are visual creatures, so. And Malia keep asking me for a daddy, like, I can just go to a vending machine and just get one out. If only it was that easy. <laughs> if only. Ooh. We'll see y'all tomorrow for, well, today, I keep saying tomorrow. Later on today for um our talk. Day 14. Love y'all. Peace.